Tillman Fertitta made it clear that he is not going to trade James Harden. But guess what he did today? He let uh, Russell Westbrook go for John Wall in a first round pick. <laughs> if this ain't the dumbest trade I've ever heard before in my life, it might be the closest to the dumbest trade I've ever heard before in my life. Let's get into it right after the jump. Welcome back to Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. Guys, the, Wiz the Wizards came up with a better... Listen, the Wizards came up on a better end of this deal by getting Russell Westbrook, trading away John Wall. In almost two years, he has not touched the basketball court. And I'm trying to understand one thing. John Wall has been saying for the longest that he didn't want to leave. He didn't want to leave by... He didn't want to leave from Bradley Bill's side. He wants to continue to keep playing along with him to possibly bring a championship to the Watch the Wizards. Well, I guess I guess things changed. Um, I guess this was another made up storyline to keep everybody interested in. Folks wanting to hear about what was going on with those two players, uh, Bradley Bill and John Wall. But now, insert John Wall and James Harden. James Harden has already been given multiple NBA started to play alongside with him, and he has not been able to bring the Houston Rockets another championship. I guess uh, Tillman Fertitta is making it known, very well known, hey, uh, James, you might as well come on and take this 50 million because I'm not letting you go for anything. And guess what? This this leads me back to LeBron James all the time telling, the, telling these teams, the, telling these organizations that he'll do a two and one. Basically, he'll play for you two years and he'll have that third year as an option. It makes more sense. But so many people are, are hell-bent on getting these mega contract deals. Just like right now, Giannis is trying to figure out if he's going to take the Milwaukee Bucks up on their offer. Guess what, Giannis? If you take that offer, they got you locked in. And they, they could bring the Hamburglar, the Cheeto Man, Ronald McDonald, and Grimace in there to come be the other starting four to play alongside, play alongside with you. And guess what? You would never win a championship in Milwaukee. Be smart. Take your take your career in your hands to do what you need to do with it. But yes, guys, I'm gonna get back to James Harden. James Harden has been given multiple NBA stars to play along with him, and it just hasn't worked out. Uh, and the Rockets' favorite for them to win an NBA championship. I mean, remember, Chris Paul was just removed from the Houston Rockets a year ago, and already you bring in Russell Westbrook. Things didn't work with Russell Westbrook. Now he's being shipped out. I mean, we already know the culture is bad in in uh, the Houston Rockets organization. I mean. You know, the, the owner is uh, best friends with the current president. And, you know, with everything in light of everything that's going on now in the community around every in light with everything that's going on around the world. There's a lot of people that's like, hey, man, we got to get out of this self-hate and do a little bit better than what we're doing. But, you know, that just goes back to show where we are. But, yeah, man, you know, James Harden, the best opportunity you had to win a NBA championship was when you had. Capella and all those other pieces that you had with you along with Chris Paul in Houston, but you guys blew a 3-1 lead against the Golden State Warriors, and guess what? That that train is now sailed by. So I guess ISO James is still going to be a full effect, you know, dribble, 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 hold the ball all the way down till the clock gets down, the shot clock gets down about 2 or 3 and let it fly and see if it goes in. Better yet, hey, I'm waiting to see what John Wall is going to be able to produce because, like I said, he hasn't been on the court in two full calendar years. So, we're going to see exactly what's going on. But, the, like I said, the Houston Rockets did get something good out of this deal, which is a, a first-round pick. We'll have to see what how that pans out for him. But, guys, you know, let me know down below what you think about this here trade. Um, do you think this trade is even worth it? You know, I know Russell Westbrook, you know, on the Watch the Wizards, and he's going to bring more to the table for them because now they got a guy that's going to come out every night and bring that fight on the court with Bradley Bill, making sure that they try to position themselves into getting into that playoff race. Now, if you ask me, do I think they would be a high seed um, in the East as far as uh, as far as in the playoffs? I don't know. I think they may make it to the seventh seed. We have to wait and see. Um, there's a lot to you know unpack with those two guys. I mean. I don't think their styles really mesh together as far as them playing together. But like I said, we have to wait and see how these two superstars can adjust to playing with one another now that the trade has happened. Um, like I said, James Harden, you know, he's going to continue to keep doing what he's doing. 
And like I said, maybe he might go ahead and reconsider that $50 million now because like I said, the owner, he's not letting you go, brother. You, hey, you you are now a Houston Rocket for life, sir. You want to go to the Nets? Won't be going to the Nets. Now there's possible talks that he may be going to the uh, Golden State Warriors or excuse me, the Oakland Warriors. We'll see. But until next time, guys, leave your comments below and let me know what you think about the content. And let me know what you think about this trade, guys. Do you think this trade was actually worth it or was just a bunch of poo-poo? But, guys, hey, don't forget, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Click those thumbs up. Hey, guys, subscribe to the channel. And also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. And remember, guys, be that one and leave.